that's a fish on oh it's a flathead look at the size of that flathead that's a good fish <laughs> Not bad conditions down here actually, fairly calm, little bit of a side wash to the left hand side there, should be able to hold bottom though, I've come down here with a bit of bait now so I'm going to do some bait fishing today, I'm pretty keen on uh, having some fresh fish for dinner, just looking for the likely spot, I don't see what's wrong with right ahead, right in front of me. I know, I've got these chunks of uh, cuttlefish. I found a cuttlefish down here and I cut some pieces off it oh, quite a few months ago. We'll see how it goes. Quite overcast earlier. Seems to be a bit of blue sky coming. I might have got a touch then. I think there's something picking at it. I don't think it'll be too long before the waves are coming over this little ledge. I think I better move my phone back from here, I think. Put it up here, I think. I'll just check the bait, I'll see how that cuttlefish is holding on. It's still on. I'll give it a bit longer now. I know it's holding on okay.
just thinking I really should have at least one blue bait. So I'll have cuttlefish on one and blue bait on another. Give them a bit of variety out there. Fitch around the tail, keep it on there. There you go. Let's see how that goes. Got a fish on. Not gonna be anything big, I don't think. Oh, I think he's gone actually. Okay. Yeah, something's had hold of that. Just didn't hook him. That's a fish on, whether he stays on this time, we'll see. Oh, it's a flathead, oh my God. Look at the size of that flathead. I've just had a really good day fishing. Oh, look at that fellow, are ya? <laughs> oh, I'm keeping this one, I've got to dispatch him quickly. Look at that. That's a good size flathead. That's it, finished. Oh man, I was just talking to Jim, a neighbor, about flathead out here. Yeah, let me tell you, I'm one happy man. Well hooked too, look. Well hooked. He wasn't getting off. Oh man, let me give him a rinse off. <laughs> oh man, I'm happy. Look at that. Yeah, I'm happy with that. That's a nice fish. <laughs> look at that down. Oh, look at that <laughs> oh man. That's a good fish. <laughs> oh, wow. I might try and catch another one of those. What do you reckon? Right, hey. Let's see if I can get another one of those. Still a couple of hours to the high tide.
Yeah, one more of those would be just nice. I didn't get the actual bite on film. I was scrambling to turn the bloody thing on just while I was fighting it. I think I got a bite a little earlier but dropped it. I was actually holding the rod before. The bites aren't anything special. They were just little nibbles and I just took took up the bit of tension, bit of slack and and then just uh, gave it a big strike and there he was. I, I don't really mind if I don't get another one, that's definitely enough for dinner. That's going to be a good feed. I'd probably give this second one to my neighbour anyway. It's certainly a very different fight to the salmon that I usually get here. Well, let me tell you, I'd rather eat a flathead than a salmon. been a very long time since I filled it at a flathead, I can tell you. Let's go this way. Oh done better jobs I can tell you I and stay as close to that backbone as I can I think this one's going to be better than the first one anyway well that's not too bad Just keep that tail, I think. Put that back in the water. See if I can get some more off that tail when I get up to the house. There's plenty left on there. So that'll do. I'll bag that up and take that home. Oh, incoming. There you go. That'll do for dinner. That was worthwhile, wasn't it? That's dinner, I'm gonna enjoy that. That was a great session, really happy with that one.
Oh no, I'm back up with the house now. See if I can sort these out. Terrible job. Talk about butchering. Maybe the knife could be a bit sharper. Yeah, that's a bit better job, yeah. Just cut him off there and have at least one boneless piece. Well, that was a lesson on how not to fillet a fish, but oh, I salvaged it, so I've got some nice pieces there. Um, that's boneless. There's two nice boneless ones, a few little bits that I left off the tail. They'll make nice little fish nuggets. A couple of nice pieces there. And a couple here with bones. I'm happy to pick the bones out of them. So that's definitely going to be a nice dinner. I'm happy with that. Time to cook the flathead. What do I do? Put a wholemeal flour. That's probably enough there. And some curry powder. Oh, that's probably enough there. Yep. Any curry powder will do. I make my own, but it's very similar to Keen's curry powder, I guess. Gotta mix up. salt in there I think pepper there's pepper in the there's pepper in the curry powder Good coating in this. There you go. Ready for the fry pan. Right over, we've got the double fry pans going on. Bit of olive oil there and a bit of olive oil here. Knob of butter in the fish one. I do like a bit of butter with the fish, always tastes better. Chili in with an egg, chili flakes, and in with the fish.
Oh, they're looking pretty good. A couple of minutes on that side and they're done. They look very nice. The vegetables to go with it, stir fry vegetables. I reckon that'll do the trick. Let's get into this. Got the sriracha mayo. There we go. Fresh flathead caught literally hours ago. That is good fish. Wow, that's good fish. Doesn't mind this sriracha on it either. Oh, yum, oh. There we go, that one. Look at that. It's just flaking apart. Oh, that is good fish. I've been waiting to catch one of these. Mmm. That is so good. Can't beat flathead. It's got to be one of the best eating fish. Oh, that is good. That was a good day. That was a very good day. Look at that. So far these are boneless. No bones in these. Look at that white flesh. Wow. Oh, that is so good. Mmm. Wow, very impressive. Alright guys, I won't let, I won't make you sit through the whole meal. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.